Stormcast, a couple of different things happening here, just partly, to, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. A cold front will come our way and try to initiate a few showers and thunderstorms as we head into Wednesday afternoon into the evening hours, generally west of central Nebraska. So the Panhandle, western Nebraska, that cold front, and then just kind of fizzles out, doesn't really do much of anything. We're left with partly cloudy skies through Thursday mornings. Then as we head to Thursday afternoon, another cold front comes our way, scattered showers and thunderstorms. This one's just a touch stronger. It will make its way east and these showers and thunderstorms have been kind of, the models have them either north and then south and then north and then so exactly where these storms are going to roll through as we head into late Thursday into early, early, early Friday morning. They all kind of push on through. Could be southeastern Nebraska, could be northeastern Nebraska, but some spots are going to see a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms late Thursday night into Friday morning. Tonight though, quiet, warmer by about 10 degrees. A southwest wind will keep us a little warmer. Middle 60s, and then highs tomorrow. Uh, we were in the upper 80s today. I think tomorrow will be the lower, maybe even the middle 90s. More of a wind out of the southwest, and I think at the dew point just a little bit higher. Not terrible, but just a little higher. 66 degrees tonight, mostly clear and warmer in the capital city than 93, warming back up and a little on the breezy side. Southwest wind at 10 to 25 miles per hour. The next seven days, little up, a little down. We'll be in the middle and upper 90s Wednesday and Thursday, then back down into the middle 80s for Friday, Saturday, heading into the holiday weekend. Morning showers possible on Saturday, and then a good chunk of Saturday and Sunday should be dry. And those temperatures on Saturday and Sunday in the middle and upper 80s, that's not a bad way to start the holiday weekend. Fourth of July does have a chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms, a little bit warmer, and then a little unsettled as we head towards next week. So the really dry and the cooler than average temperatures, I think, are done for now. But the humidity hasn't been too bad, and that will continue into tomorrow. I'm looking forward to some more rain chances, so glad to see those in the forecast. Absolutely.